Hi, I'm Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I want to show you how you can better manage metrics in Adobe Analytics, both for yourself and for other users in your organization. The first thing I want to cover is that for every report suite, you have the ability to set report suite-wide default metrics. Do that in the admin console. Uh, if you're an admin user, you probably recognize uh, where I am. It's just the report suite page in the admin console. And I can come in here to, uh, to individual report suite settings and go to default metrics. Once I've, I've got the report suite selected, of course, that I want to, uh, to use. And for each report suite, I can set up to three default metrics. These metrics will appear in any report where these metrics are, are supported. Uh, I've got orders, uh, revenue, and the instances metric selected, and I'm going to change that to unique visitors and then save that. And so now I've just changed the default metrics for, uh, for all of my reports. Now, you can also set default metrics at a report level, and if you do that, uh, these settings will not override your individual report setting. So uh, to show you that, I'm going to go to a marketing channel report, and uh, uh, you can see that I've got orders, revenue, and click-throughs here. I'm going to choose to show metrics, and I'm going to change. I'm going to get rid of orders and click-throughs and set that to bounces, and let's throw maybe cart additions in there, and I'll apply that. And that'll just change the metrics in my report. Pretty, uh, pretty standard behavior. Now, you'll see next to that Show Metrics button, there's a drop-down, and I can go to, sh to uh, Set as Default. Uh, show Defaults would set my, uh, if I had different metrics, or I do have diff different metrics, that would actually kind of revert me back to my defaults for this report. I'm going to go to Set as Default, and that will, you'll get a message that says successfully changed default metrics for this report. And now, uh, the next time I load up this report, I will have uh, these three metrics instead of the report suite level defaults. And I could do that for any of my reports. And the reason that this is great is that uh, different metrics have different, uh, diff sorry, different reports have different metrics that are relevant uh, to them. Uh, for marketing channels, I'm probably interested in conversion rate and maybe uh, revenue or average order value. In an internal search report, I'm probably more interested in things like revenue participation, maybe a uh, in number of internal searches. And so I can set the default at that individual report level, which just makes it easier for me and for my users to get value out of these reports because I'm, I spend less time having to think about which metric matters in which case. It's a great feature, highly recommended uh, for, for common reports that you and your users uh, rely on frequently. Uh, one more setting here that's actually pretty new to Adobe Analytics, and that is um, still in the admin console. Uh, I can go to Edit Settings, Conversion, and then Success Events. And in here, uh, I see all of my custom events. I've got 11 of them turned on. Uh, and all of my standard uh, conversion events. And there's this new field called visibility. And I can change for any of these metrics. I can have a metric that's technically turned on, but is not available for me in my metric list, or is, is hidden from my users and from myself in my metric list. The other thing that I can do is have a metric that is uh, enabled and implemented but is, not, is never meant to be applied directly. It's only meant to be used as a building block in a calculated metric. And I can choose this metric builder only option for that metric, for that event. And that'll ensure that that, uh, that metric is available in my builder, in my metric builder, so that I can build calculated metrics around it, but it will never be exposed on its own to be added to a report. So I can manage the, the visibility of my different metrics here. Uh, this is a great example of this is uh, if I'm a, um, if I'm a uh, publisher and I don't have revenue implemented or orders, I can just hide those entirely uh, and set, just set those to hidden everywhere. And, uh, and I, I will never, and in fact, I could do that for the rest of my shopping cart events. And I'll never have to worry about those confusing my users or myself ever again. Uh, so a number, of, a number of ways here that you can manage metrics and take control of metrics. Um, use these in concert with the calculated metric uh, videos that 
or, or the builder that uh, that was demonstrated in some of the other videos available on this YouTube channel, uh, and um, and take control of your metrics and your data and create a better analytics experience for your users. Thanks.